Now we'll take a look at adding and subtracting fractions that contain variables. The rules for adding and subtracting fractions aren't going to change. It's just going to feel a little bit different because of the variables involved. So for our first example, looking at our denominators, we know we have to obtain a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. And with denominators two and five, the least common denominator will be 10. So we'll write equivalent fractions for these two fractions with the denominator of 10. So for this first fraction, we'll have to multiply the denominator and the numerator by five. And then for the second fraction, we'll have to multiply the denominator and the numerator by two. So this would give us five tenths plus, this would be four x all over 10. Now that our denominators are the same, we can go ahead and add these fractions. The denominator stays the same, and then we add the numerators. And so we have five plus four x. Well, these aren't like terms, so we can't add them. So we have to leave it as a sum. So we'll have five plus four x all over 10. However, normally when writing an expression, we do want to put the variable terms first. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as four x plus five all over 10. These are both equivalent, but this is a little better form. And one more thing to be careful about, it may be tempting to try to simplify this five and 10, but we cannot do that because we cannot simplify across addition or subtraction, meaning because of this plus sign here, we cannot simplify the five and the 10. Looking at our second example, again, we need to recognize that our denominators are not the same. So we need to find the least common denominator of y and eight, which in this case will just be the product of these two. So for four over y, we'll have to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by eight. And then for three eighths, we'll have to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by y. Notice how in both cases we have a denominator of eight y. So we'll have 32 all over eight y minus this will be 3y all over 8y. And now to subtract, the denominator stays the same, which will be 8y, and we subtract the numerators. And 32 and 3y are not like terms, so we just have 32 minus 3y, which is the difference of these two fractions. But if we wanted to have the variable term first in the numerator, we would have negative 3y plus 32 all over 8y. These differences are equivalent, it just depends on the style of the textbook. And the same is true for our first example. Some textbooks may leave the sum in this form.